Hallo, herzlich willkommen bei Tipps und Tricks der Woche. Ich hoffe, es geht euch gut. In unserem heutigen Video schauen wir uns ein paar Tipps und ein paar Kniffe an, was man so alles mit dem L-Studio machen kann. Und nun wünsche ich euch viel Spaß. Maybe it has annoyed you that it quickly becomes very confusing when there are many connections. If I mark a connection and press the right mouse button, I can select cross reference and this connection disappears. Of course, the two connections are still connected together. If I press the control key during creation of this connection, a cross reference is automatically created. If you have many function blocks, it might be that you cannot connect them together because you are not seeing them. In this situation, press the control key and with the mouse wheel you can zoom out until everything is visible. Now you can press the shift key and mark the block. You are getting a magnifying glass. And now you can connect as usual. Maybe you have recognized that there are strange tabs like XML and source. Of course you can work with these two tabs, but it is important to know if you do here something wrong, in most cases you have destroyed your whole project. Therefore it is a good idea to go to tools, options, UI, and change the level from advanced to default. Now you must restart the studio and these two tabs should disappear. I now build a little timer just to show you the debugging. Let's create a timer of 5 seconds. Create a new input variable. Let's call it start. And a output variable. Let's select pool for both. It's good to know how to calculate from milliseconds to seconds. Now let's press one. Now we see our inputs and outputs and we can run the whole stuff. Here at the bottom you can see the result. Let's start the whole stuff. Let's set it to false, to true. The same from the beginning. And let's stop the whole stuff. If I mark a library and press the right mouse key, I can select library reference. Here I am having more information what is used. Maybe in further versions there is a new library and you have installed that, 
Of course, now you must reference to the new libraries in your project. To do so, mark your project, press the right mouse key and select Change Library Reference Version. You simply press the libraries that are used and you can see which other versions of this library is installed. In my case, I am already having the newest one, so I can make a downgrade, which does not really make sense. But this is how an upgrade will work. If I mark a function block out of any kind of library, so for example here a plant, and I am pressing now the F1 key, I get the help for that function block. Don't be afraid, it can last a while until you see something in this window. Here it is everything documented, every input, every output, everything you must know to use this function block. If I'm going to one of these function block, I can select sub blocks and I can see what is behind it. Maybe you have noticed this little Montblanc uh, pen, which is marked out. What does this mean? This only means that this block is white disabled, so I can not change here something inside. If I want to change something here inside, I must mark this block, white mouse button, copy and paste it somewhere in my project. Maybe you have noticed on the tab there is a plus symbol, which means you cannot change something, and on the copied one there is no plus symbol. Here I can do some changes. Let's try it when I am doing here something like I Add an end or so. This works perfect. I can also take something and connect it. Completely useless. And if it's white protected, of course it doesn't work. Ich hoffe, dass auch heute wieder nützliche Informationen für euch dabei waren. Wenn ihr keine Folge mehr versäumen wollt, dann abonniert diesen Kanal. Wenn ihr selber einen Tipp oder Trick der Woche habt, dann schreibt ihn doch bitte in die Kommentare. Und nun wünsche ich euch noch eine angenehme Woche. Bleibt gesund!